back to Earth, and she has discovered what she calls the king killer anointing. Get the head, cut it off, and all the little bitty demons underneath the head, they have to flee as if in fear. Don't go away. Be right back after this word. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Last year, God told me to host a supernatural tour to Israel. The tour was such a spiritual highlight. We're going to do another one this year in Jerusalem. And we've purposely kept this top quality tour under $3,000. And that includes all taxes and tips. Call now for a free brochure at 1-800-959-1062 or visit our website at sidroth.org. We now return to It's Supernatural! Hello, Sid Roth here with Katie Souza, and I'm so excited. She has gotten revelation on how if you can get rid of the top dog, the top demon that's got a stronghold over your life, you can get him then all the other demons leave. And you had to learn this because you deal right. with people in prisons, large right. numbers. You can't just you can't deal with them one on one. You had to understand these principles. Yes. And, and she calls it the king killer anointing. Explain. Well, if you go to the top, I mean, Jesus said it, you know, if you take out the strong man, then you can ransack his house. So Jesus did it too. And, and in Ephesians 6, it shows us the order. Despots, powers, and master spirits. Despots are kings. You know, king's a king unless he has a kingdom underneath him. So you go to the top, and then the rest will begin to just submit to you. This is the, one of the keys to mass deliverance, to being able to do things, deliverance on an accelerated manner. With mom, you know, she was our example, and we learned from her. And there was something blocking her healing. And when I asked the Lord what it was, he began to give me this download. She's not the only one that's having a blocked healing. And when I asked God to show me who is the specific king that's over mom right now, I got quiet, and in my mind I heard Isaiah 14. Well, I went to it, Sid, and it was about a king. His name was the Satanic King of Babylon. Now, in the natural, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, was the king that took the Israelites into physical captivity, right? Well, in the supernatural, that's what the satanic king of Babylon does, too. Same job. He takes God's people into physical captivity through sickness and disease. When you read Isaiah 14, it says all these words that, that show his job description that are totally tied in with physical disorders. It says that he, quote, weakens us that he, quote, causes us pain, and he lays us prostrate. It means that he is a king whose assignment is to cause us to be in physical captivity. So when I got this revy about him, I was like, okay, God, I don't even know how to fight him, which you're, mm -hmm. the stuff we're offering today, we give step-by-step -step biblical instruction, so they'll know exactly how to. I, I, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's amazing great. stuff. So I had, though, the most important thing. I had the word of God. So I took Isaiah 14. I said, okay, I'm going to fight this king and I'm going to win with the scripture. And I began to decree it against him in a position of warfare. And my whole body started to just be on fire. My back was on fire. My legs were on fire. And one of the things it says in Isaiah 14 is that we can take a taunt up against him and command him to fall from his position of power in the second heavens. Because that's where his throne is. So I began to do that. And I commanded him, fall in the name of Jesus. Fall, fall, fall. And suddenly in an open-eyed vision, I saw this being, it was him. And he was falling down through the clouds, through the sky, to the ground. And I was like, wow, God, what is that? And the Lord reminded me of this story when Jesus sent out the 72 with the Matthew 10 anointing, the same anointing I had gotten at Bethel. And it says that when they came back, they said, wow, even the demons submitted to right. us in your name. And Jesus said this, I saw Satan fall like lightning from the sky. He had actually, he knew that Satan's kingdoms, his kings and their kingdoms, had fallen from their positions of power when his disciples went out with this anointing. Well, that's what you saw in your vision. Exactly. And from that moment on, Sid, supernatural miracles just started breaking out. Let me, let me start out with your mom. You're in another country. You're in Australia. What happened? Well, that happened six months later. Okay. She had first gotten healed of an addiction to Dilaudid's that she had been addicted for 10 years. 
And then I go to Australia. Out of curiosity, was it a gradual getting free of that addiction? Or Within instant? three days. About 30 days later, she had a breakthrough, and in three days she was delivered. How now, long had she been addicted on it? Ten years. And wow. it's the same as, a, it's like heroin. It's a mm. prescription equivalent of heroin. Mm. And once she got healed of that, then there are all these other people that we removed the Babylonian king off. They begin to get major breakthroughs. Instant healing of viruses. Instant healing of pneumonias. We had a guy with an incision that got infected, and it had pus in it. We broke the Babylonian king off him, commanded to be healed. His hand got warm, totally healed. He went to the doctor the next day, and they were like, your hand's perfectly well. People with heroin addictions instantly uh, healed of their withdrawals. People with DTs instantly healed. Once we re found out about this king, and we started to remove him off people, signs and wonders started breaking out everywhere we went. Now, you have another tool that is so important. We've talked about it previously. It's called the glory light. Explain that to me. Well, Malachi 4.2 says the son of righteousness, meaning Jesus the Messiah, arises with healing in his wings and his beams. Okay, the beams there are talking about beams of light. And the wings there represents the prayer shah which represents the glory cloud. So Jesus arises with healing in his glory and his light. And you were talking about Australia earlier, right? right? Well, when I went to Australia, the Lord said, now I want you to start moving in that revelation and releasing light. You can even release it long distance because light travels 186,000 miles per second, right? right? So he said, I want you to start releasing glory light on your mom's hip, the other hip she had. From Australia? From Australia. Okay. Okay, to get it healed. So I began to press into my faith to release the glory light. And so I called her uh, like two days later. Now, she doesn't know I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. And she goes, I've had this angelic being coming into my room, and he's beaming light into me. Hmm. And I was like, oh, that's what I've been praying for. And so the Lord began to show me how her other hip, which they were going to take out because it was being um, degenerated by right. the disease, was being restored. And so I'm in the plane. God's saying that hip is being restored in the glory light. He goes, but now the leg bone is out of the socket. He says, so now I want you to do some thundering. I said, thundering? I, so I go, okay, what's thundering? I, I did a word search in, in Bible Gateway, and it was in the scripture about the Valley of Dry Bones, in the verse that says, and there was a thundering, a shaking, and a rattling, and the bones came together bone to its bone. So I fly home. I run into her house. I don't even tell her what I'm doing. I began to command the bones to come together bone to its bone so that the hip bone would go, the leg bone would go into the hip socket. She's laying there. She has no idea what I'm doing. And she goes, ow, ow. I said, what? What's going on? She goes, I have a pain. I said, what kind of pain? She goes, well, it wasn't really a pain. It was more like the feeling of when the ball of a truck goes into the hitch of a trailer. Hmm. Didn't have to touch her or anything, said, and the now, bones now came Now, you together. were just learning about the glory light mm. of God. Uh, what type of miracles are you seeing as you release the glory light of God? We're seeing all kinds of things happen. Um, skin, um, bones, ocular eye diseases. We've had, we've had a couple people healed of eye disorders. You, you had the melanoma you were talking mm -hmm. about. The, the light was in that glory, too. And that dried up and came off my leg within three days. It just dried up when the glory light was applied. I, I, I want to hear more about this. Okay. We'll be back in just a moment. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural.